Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be talking all things with the update. So if you guys missed it, there was a no time to explain podcast yesterday, where in this podcast, they talk about all things with the community and they also give a sneak peek. So most people just care about the sneak peek, but I would highly recommend watching it. It's one of my favorite ones that we've done so far because they just non-stop spoke about the community feedback. There's been a lot of backlash with the balance of the game and even my question got answered, which we'll dive into later today. But anyways, the main focus of this video is to do with power league so power league from what they said from the no time to explain podcast is pretty much dead there's no more power league so i don't know whether that's just going to be a, a name change probably but it just sounds like they're completely revamping the game mode which i'm excited for because power league of course is my favorite way to play brawl stars it's my favorite way to create content especially on the main channel whether i'm streaming whether it's on the second channel so I can be a little bit scared, like people don't like change naturally, but with the things that they've been cooking up last year, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm optimistic, right? Especially for the casual play base, again, time and time again, especially as a high-end player, I'm reminded that the casuals, that's, that's the way to make the game grow, right? So if we, well, we'll dive into it with all the changes, which I think some of these changes which they outlined are very, very positive. So the first one, anyways, it's going to be one month long, well, not a past season. A power league season so we know right now the power league season is way too long it's over 60 days there's not much excitement and i just feel like i'm not really incentivized to play all the time that sounds crazy right but it doesn't feel like i have to play like i've still got so long so most of the time i do most of my grinding at the end of the season that's just how naturally things are if you go over to Fortnite, that's when I'm grinding the most on their battle pass and just brawl pass as well. I'm mostly grinding at the end of the brawl pass season. So it makes sense for Power League as well. It's going to follow the brawl pass rotation since that got changed a couple of months ago. And the big one as well, which most people were talking about when I asked you guys for feedback for the ways to improve Power League, literally everyone said more rewards, right? Because there's no incentive to play Power League right now. 125 bling per rank is just terrible. So what they said in the podcast is that there's going to be new rewards, I think they said, but they outlined way more rewards. So this could be with progression, cosmetics, all of this good stuff. I hope they add a lot of it again for the casual player base because that will get a lot more people hopefully watching my content because we're a competitive channel over here. But the big one, which I wanted to talk about a lot right now is... The fact that they're adding modifiers to power leak so straight away my reaction you've probably seen it on twitter i was like huh that they're, they're adding power they're adding modifiers to power leak this is just gonna kill the game mode it's gonna kill competitive integrity like the skill gap let's face it it is getting a lot lower i know there's there's gonna be an argument to say with hypercharge there's more things to think about uh, that, that could actually increase the skill cap because there's more things to think about but at the same time I think it's actually dumbing down the game a little bit in my personal opinion but maybe I mean the way they spoke about it on the podcast right again you'll have to forward back if you forward over to uh, the podcast I'll put a link in the description to the timestamp there's like a four minute clip where it's really good to just listen to what they said but essentially they um they want it to be competitive and the modifiers are nothing like we've seen before so again when i hear modifiers i think oh it's going to be the energy drink from showdown it's going to be all of these stupid mega pig modifiers which are fun to play a couple of times but if we're thinking competitively speaking if there's snow all over the map or if the showdown gas closing in that's just that's not competitive right it's just a little bit of fun so they're not going to be adding that it's nothing we've seen before i can't really think of much in terms of modifiers that could stay competitive so i'm kind of scared but at the same time i'm excited to see what they've came up with because if we rewind back to the last whole year of brawl stars updates i think they cooked with pretty much every single update which two years ago was not the same story you know literally seeing the graph of all the updates have all been amazing last year so hopefully they can continue on this upward trend and not kill this game mode because i rely off it heavily for my content so please 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 just i don't want it to stem too far away from competitive maiden modifiers would be a good thing they did say that they think it would um actually add another layer of skill expression so by that they mean there's another thing to think about right you've got the game mode so that affects a lot of the brawler pool right because bounty brawler it's a lot different then you've got the map the map will always change the brawlers the composition that you're using and then you've got the modifier as well so i can kind of see that point especially with draft it's going to keep things a lot more fresh you're not 
gonna be like playing the same thing over and over again because even myself sometimes that can be a little bit boring in a sense in power league so i won't be just grinding power league all day because i'll just be using the same brawler every single time it can be a little bit boring so hopefully they can switch up the meta a little bit but not again something too crazy like imagine if it was an only tank modifier that would be pretty insane i, I guess that could actually be fun but <laughs> we'll see what it actually is again i just can't think of what these modifiers are it's so annoying i know you guys will have some suggestions in the comment section but they've got to be competitive modifiers i just don't know what that could possibly be also they wanted to fix players uh picking low level brawlers so again i think literally the top two things i got suggested was uh, way more rewards with power league and uh, uh stopping people from picking low brawlers because it even happens at a higher end it's just it's not necessary it's just griefing at the highest level it's so annoying when someone picks a power one dog and you don't want to dodge because you don't want to get banned for 30 minutes an hour etc so yeah it's annoying they're actually adding a new report system as well uh, danny said they're working on it which should mean that it's hopefully ready for the update i mean i've been crying out for a new report system for years now so is everybody else that's a, again a big thing it's especially a lot more prominent at the lower ranks as well so this could really help the casual player base because there's so many people that just disconnect after losing one round or just have really bad wi-fi or i don't know there's a lot of griefing happening at lower levels right so hopefully that will be fixed and people stop throwing in a competitive setting because it just doesn't really happen in other games i play right like i don't play another rank system on even call of duty and like people don't just give up they play until the end so hopefully they fix that and stop people from quitting uh next is that they're actually changing the banning phase so this is pretty interesting so all the way up into the first rank so what bronze all the way up to diamond they will be introducing a different way to play power league so there'll be no banning phase i think danny said there'll be no pick phase for each player as well so what my guess is that it's going to be like mega pick right so everyone's going to have like 20 seconds to pick one of their brawlers and then from what i heard they're actually looking to create like a separate stage outside of that you know your kind of um the the stage where you're looking for the star powers gadgets and whatever else because that's the only thing that frustrates me about power, uh mega pick like i love that it's really fast but then a lot of time i've got the incorrect build because i've clicked my brawlers fast enough and then everyone's picked their brawler and then you're into the game in five seconds that's actually not enough you know especially if you're trying to have a look at the modifier for example if it's super bushy you want to switch to vision gear but you haven't got enough time but i think they are fixing that hopefully but yeah that's my biggest concern especially as a casual what i've spoke about previously with a lot of people is that they just need to make the game quicker because it's such a jump up from your average trophy game you know if someone wants to just play a game on the toilet they can't play power league on the toilet or else you, you might be sitting on the toilet for 15 minutes but uh with a regular showdown game it could just be a quick two minute game so that's why people just don't even bother playing power league a lot of the time and also for above diamond they're actually keeping the draft the same so keeping it the competitive as it's always been which is actually a really good thing again i kind of like things being switched up but you, i think it's good like the 20 seconds the way the draft is i think it's actually as perfect as it could get in brawl stars i really enjoy it it wasn't too fun at the beginning when it was first introduced but people learned how to adjust and i think it's perfect especially for a competitive mode so that's going to be it for today's video pretty much actually except for uh the question that they answered i asked about whether brawl stars is becoming paid to win now with all the early access brawlers hopefully you guys saw that question that was a really good question i felt like they answered it a little bit but i'm still there's still some unanswered questions in my opinion i don't know about you guys like i felt like they didn't answer fully what i was expecting like they they kind of said about the data like i guess sometimes they can nerf a brawler too soon but in some instances like larry and laurie it, it was just so blatantly clear how crazy broken they were so i weren't too happy about their answer with that so hopefully we get even more clarity in the future on my question but we'll see we'll see they did answer a lot of uh, questions to be fair and they gave a lot of good feedback anyways that's gonna be it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this one me just waffling but as i said it's it's towards the update cycle and i'm just unsure what to really upload it's getting pretty hard because it's been so long since an update but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time